I just remember those times being so great, you know, back in, well, through 79 up to about 82. You know, that was where everyone met. That was where all your friends were and all your enemies, <laughs> unfortunately, um, which sometimes led to a bad habit of, you know, in between every level you'd look over your back, you know, looking for danger. But um, nothing beat it. It was just such a great time. It was brand new, and, and every time you walked in the arcade there was some kind of new machine that was just catching your attention and you know getting you excited to to spend all your lunch money there <laughs> or all your uh, all your chore money in this blog I just want to show you one of my all-time favorite games what I hold in my hand is a 25 cent piece from the year 1982 in the year 1982 a movie hit theaters that was largely ignored um, but way ahead of its time. That movie was Tron. A lot of why it was ignored is at that time Disney Studios wasn't uh, exactly popular and so the idea of a science fiction movie coming out on the heels of the Star Wars craze um, by Disney was not that appealing, especially when you had movies like Mad Max, Conan, uh, E.T. that it was competing against. However, I love that movie and some people bag on it, but those people suck. The exciting thing about this game and that movie was the idea of a whole new world, a whole new world of electronics, a whole new world of computers, uh, the possibility of what we now call a virtual reality. And if you watch that movie and keep those things in mind, it is, it's astoundingly ahead of its time. But back to the game. The thing that was cool is every time you walked in the arcade, there was something new. And this was certainly no exception. This thing had black light glow plates all over it, with this cool blue glowing joystick. Not to mention it had four games within one game and a completely immersive atmosphere inside. And so this thing just kicked ass. I would get out of the movie theater after seeing Tron and ride home on my bicycle, you know, grab money and then head to the arcade. You'd walk in and blow your whole week's allowance in minutes flat uh, on this game. The coolest thing here also was that the minute you put in the quarter, it played music from the movie, and it just completely sucked you in. So, shall we? Thank you.